Hong Kong's tramways are an icon of the city and are one of the oldest and most recognizable forms of transport in Hong Kong. First drawn in 1984, the system now has 30 kilometers of operational tracks with around 120 stations. There are two sections to Hong Kong's tramways, a 13 kilometer mainline which runs from Kennedy Town to Shao Kei Wan and a 3 kilometer loop which separates from Barrington in Causeway Bay and runs into Happy Valley. Our journey starts in Kennedy Town, the western terminus of the tramways. We're going to be taking a standard double-decker tram, an icon of Hong Kong. The network is one of the only in the world that exclusively uses double-decker trams, and Hong Kong Tramways holds the title of owning the world's largest operational double-decker tram fleet. Most of the rolling stock consists of the fourth generation type of tram cars, which were refurbished in the 1980s. They can be recognized by their use of timber window frames. As we approach a station now, you'll see that most stations are built with shelters on a small island platform designed in the middle of the road. However, when the road is too narrow for a dedicated platform, passengers can queue on the footpath and the tram will stop in the middle of the road. We're now approaching the Witty Street Depot on your left, more commonly known as the Shek Tung Soi Terminus. This depot is the main tram depot that serves the line, housing and maintaining the rolling stock. Witty Street, along with Sai Wan Ho Depot, is the newest station to be added on the network, coming into operation in March 1989. After Water Street, an unused track joins us from the other end of the Witty Street Depot. This is only used in emergencies if other tracks are unavailable. Since the track here does not have suitable traffic signals, traffic police will be deployed if this section of track is ever to be used. The trams are not that fast, with speeds maxing out at about 40 km an hour, meaning that it takes one and a half hours to travel from Kennedy Town to the other end in Shao Kei Wan. This is much longer than the 27 minutes that the MTR's island line takes. But the trams are not going anywhere anytime soon, as they hold immense cultural and historical significance and provide a cheap and convenient alternative to the metro. Western Market Terminus is the next intermediate terminus that some trams use. The Western Market itself is one of the oldest structures in Hong Kong Island. The current structure, built in 1906, was the north block of the original Western Market. It is the oldest surviving market building in Hong Kong. The former south block was demolished in 1981 and its site is now occupied by the Xing Wan Municipal Services Building. We're now passing through the central business district of Hong Kong the financial heart of the city. The tramways, with their rustic timber cabins, stand in sharp contrast to the monoliths of glass and steel of the International Finance Center, the HSBC building, or the Bank of China Tower. On the left is the former Supreme Court building, now the Court of Final Appeal. The building was finished in 1912 and is a declared monument. It features colonial architecture, with a blindfolded statue of justice represented by Temis, the Greek goddess of justice and law. After passing Bank Street Station, the tram runs along a sharp S-curve. This section of track has seen many derailments because of the sharp angle of the curves. The network is double-tracked, except for the Happy Valley Loop, which is unidirectional as the Happy Valley Terminus is located halfway along the loop. When the line was originally built in 1904, the tracks ran on the seashore. But reclamation over the years has pushed the sea hundreds of meters back in some areas. Even though the trams can be operated from both directions, only one is in use and so the termini have reversing loops. As we pass through the heart of Wan Chai, on the right is one of the best remaining examples of a traditional Cantonese tenement house with shops on the bottom floor, known as Tong Lao. These types of buildings used to be widespread in Hong Kong, but they have slowly disappeared to more brutalist architecture. The structure is incredibly old, dating back to 1888. Canal Road West Station marks the halfway point of the tram network. Since it is located in between the Happy Valley Loop exit and entrance, this stop observes the most tram services, six in total. Canal Road doesn't look like it now, but there is still a canal that goes under the road. The canal was covered and made subterranean in the 1970s when the flyover was built. But before it was covered up, the canal used to look like this, with trams still going across the street as they do now. As you reach Causeway Bay, the tram splits off from the mainline and turns right onto the unidirectional single-tracked Happy Valley Loop. 
On the right is Times Square, a shopping mall built on the former Sharp Street East tram depot, which preceded the Whitty Street depot. The main incentive to build the Happy Valley Loop in the 1900s was the tradition of horse racing in the Happy Valley Racecourse. It was first built in 1845 to provide horse racing for the British people in Hong Kong. The first race ran in December 1846, and over the years, horse racing has become more and more popular among all residents, and horse racing has become one of the largest industries in Hong Kong. We soon reach the Happy Valley Terminus, which is the southernmost tram station on the network. The service terminates here, and we need to change trams to carry on our journey to Shao Kei Wan. As we leave Happy Valley Terminus, the distance to the next stop, Colonial Cemetery, is the largest distance between any two tram stops on the entire network. Just past Morrison Hill Road Station, a track splits off to the right. This is actually abandoned track work, remnants of the old connection to the now demolished Sharp Street East Tram Depot, where Times Square now stands. From the opening of the Hong Kong tramways in 1904, trams were stored and maintained at the Russell Street Depot in Causeway Bay, on the east side of Barrington Canal. By 1932, an expanding tram fleet needed a second depot, this time on Kings Road and North Point. But in 1951, the decision was made to consolidate the two depots into just one, the Sharp Street Depot. In the years that followed, however, Causeway Bay continued to grow, so in the 1980s it was decided to sell the Sharp Street Depot site for redevelopment. The depot was superseded by the Sai Wan Ho and Whitty Street depots in 1989, and the Times Square shopping mall was built on top of the Sharp Street Depot site. Then we turn back onto the main line, joining earlier than we left back at Canal Road West. We pass through Causeway Bay underneath the iconic circular footbridge that features in many movies. We reach Pennington Street Station, which is a mere 30 meters away from the next station, the Causeway Bay Terminus, which is the shortest distance between any two stops on the entire network. The Causeway Bay Terminus is also the starting point of the Tramoramic Tours, which are customized open-top tram cars designed to carry tourists on a journey from Causeway Bay to Western Market. Most tram services do not run the whole way, instead picking intermediate termini as destinations. These are the various routings which are currently in operation. Each terminus is given a specific color, used to identify the destination of trams more easily. Unlike most forms of public transport in Hong Kong, the trams fares are the same regardless of the distance traveled. The tramways are also unique in that people board from the back and exit from the front paying when alighting. Just past Victoria Park Station is a reverse siding which can be used to operate special services which terminate here on occasions where large events are being held in Victoria Park. By now, the tram is driving on Causeway Road which used to be a causeway connecting the two ends of the aptly named Causeway Bay. The causeway no longer remains a causeway as land was reclaimed on either side for Victoria Park. The area is now known as Tin Hao thanks to the opening of the eponymous MTR station here, named after a Tin Hao temple which is situated above the station. The original temple, which is a declared monument, dates back to 1747. Fortress Hill is named so because there used to be a fort here. In 1879, the British army set up a military installation in the area, naming the hill it stood on Fortress Hill. The fort was dismantled in 1922, but the name stuck. After the station, the North Point Terminus branch splits off to the left. On the loop is a station only accessible by using services terminating at North Point, Chun Yung Street. Its equivalent is North Point Road Station on the main line. The North Point branch then joins the main line again, pointing towards the opposite direction, acting as a reversing loop for tram services terminating here. We then arrive at the oddly named Healthy Street West, which is the northernmost station on the network. Healthy Street West and East are strange direct English translations of the Chinese names for the streets. Since the tramways are integrated with street traffic and rarely have physically separated lanes, trams use the same signaling as traffic lights, the only difference being that the green signal for go is replaced with an amber T so that automobile drivers do not confuse signals. The tramways use a system identical to the LRT system for indicating whether to turn at intermediate termini. On the left is a split towards the Saiwan Ho Depot. 
Even though there is a depot here, no regular services are scheduled to terminate at Saiwan Ho. Saiwan Ho Depot works in conjunction with the Woody Street Depot to maintain the tram fleet. Our journey concludes at the eastern terminus of the line at Shao Kei Wan. When the tram system opened in 1904, the Shao Kei Wan terminal was located at the current junction of Shao Kei Wan Road and Chai Wan Road. It was moved to the current site after the extension of the tram line in 1929. During the development of the Chaiwan area, there were proposals to extend the tramways through a tunnel and into Chaiwan. However, this plan was rejected in favor of a metro line, which is how the MTR's island line came to be. And that's all there is to know about Hong Kong's iconic tramway network. If you enjoyed the video, consider subscribing to the channel.